high flow. Jesus, Porker. I thought there were strangling fucking dolphins in here. I never would have guessed it was you strangling a fucking song. Yeah. Kids okay? <sighs> the usual, thanks. How's Rose and your father? Usual. <laughs> You're a sketch, Porker. Mopping and singing like one of them. Turn around, please. I'm changing. What's their names? What's their names? Beach Boys? Skyliners. Yeah, yeah, Skyliners. That's right. How old are they now? 90? Yeah, right, 90. You got it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my pants off now. No peaks. What, am I supposed to get excited? Well, you just turn around. You're supposed to be mopping, so mop. Not to get anything worked up around your pants coming off. <laughs> kind of like a wave hitting Good Harbor Beach. First couple of waves, you go, oh, wow. But after 50, 60,000 waves, it's kind of hard to get anything worked up in the excitement department if you follow my message. Turn it down. Morning, Morning Ruthie. Morning, Chloe. Morning, Parker. No change yet, huh? Nothing. I'm ten months as of this morning. The Dr. St. George has definitely got my due date wrong. You know, I'm thinking of changing doctors, to tell you the truth. Government inspector starts today. Oh, yeah, right. Thought I had a spare pack of cigarettes in there. You got a cigarette, Porker? You smoke too much. Don't need a lecture. I need a cigarette. How are the kids doing, Floy? Mm -hmm. Ungrateful. Late going to bed. The usual. Hey, did anybody see the dolphins on TV last night? Oh, with the guy speaking French? Yeah, Jock, what's his name? You see that? Yeah, I switched over. Couldn't stand the foreign words. Ruthie, there was a simultaneous translation in English. Yeah, but I didn't like it. <laughs> An Earl gets really pissed off when they talk foreign on the TV. <laughs> dolphins are so wicked smart. I remember years back, there was this TV show about dolphins every week. What was that called? You know, I don't know why they don't just put American shows on the TV. I don't know who they think they're trying to please by putting all this French crap on. No, I bet we don't have more than two Frenchmen living in Gloucester, period. Uncle Ben. Oh, that's Rice, Ma. Oh, but there was a show with the Ben in it. Gentle Ben. That's it. That was great. Stupid fucking show. Watch your mouth, cesspool. Morning, girls. Hey, Sal. Hey, Florence. Got a minute? Sure. Morning, Rini. Morning, Parker. How's the weekend? Bad, not bad. Yourself? Good. How's it going? How's yourself? Over here. Wow, Rainy, it's freezing in here. Morning, Rainy. Morning, Rainy. Morning. This is my cousin Marlena. This is Ruthie and her mother Arlene. Hello. Hi. Hi. Where's Chloe? Probably sick again? Up in the office with Sal. Must be company business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big girl. Maybe it's because I'm not sleeping. Not sleeping makes you crazy. <laughs> Tell me about it. I slept 15 minutes last night. Sal, if I go through with this, I go against everything my mother and father taught me. 
If I don't go through with it, I gotta quit my job and my, my mother and my kids starve to death. If I don't turn things around, this plant closes anyway. And you don't have to face any decision either way. You will. You'll turn it around, oh, Sal. I pray to God. Give me a kiss. I gotta go in to see Maggie. I think we better be careful because I, I, they all think something's cooking between us, Sal. Nobody knows nothing. Mm. Trust me. Morning, Parker. Yo, Josie, how's it going? Hey. New shirt, huh, Joe's? Well, it's not a shirt, Parker. It's a blouse. Boys wear shirts, girls wear blouses. Hi, Josephine. Morning, Josie. Morning, Holly. Morning, Ruthie. Ooh, it's cold in here. You were alone up there with Sal? Yeah. Sal. So, hope you kept your mouth closed. You got it. Mouth closed, legs open. Oh, nice talk. What's with that? No inspector starts today. What happened to Hattie? She was just a fill in temp. <laughs> no kidding. Where are these going? Back to Japan, probably. Label's all Japanese. Chicago broker called it in. Crazy goddamn thing, huh? What, it's sending it back to Japan? Yeah, well. Yeah, well, it's business. Who cares? Let's just finish. Oh. Close your eyes, boys. The whales are breaching. Hey, you're supposed to be using a big room for changing, you. Cheap thrills. Woo! Don't hurt anybody there, Joes. <laughs> hey, I'm telling her and I'm telling you all. You made me set up the big room downstairs with changing bulls and a cat and a Mr. Kathy and bullshit. And if you ain't gonna use all that, I'm returning that merchandise and using the space for something profitable. Ain't nothing profitable going on around North Shore Fish. I can use it for storage. Oh, let Maki keep running the front office the way it's being run, and you can use the whole plant for storage. I'm gonna tell you all something straight. Today is not the day. You watch your ass, you. Huh, okay. Now there are three of us watching my ass. Me, you, and Hot Lips Marino. I got that, you know. Now, why shouldn't you have? Was anybody speaking in complex sentences you mightn't comprehend, huh? I'm also telling you loud and clear. There'll be no smoking on the main floor. You want to smoke? You go out on the dock or down the big room. I want no citation from this new inspector. Okay? Yeah, hey, sure. Whatever. I'm having my coffee out on the dock. I'm going down to the big room to finish. I wouldn't want to be the cause of Sal bringing our Mr. Coffee back to Zayas. I wasn't the one calling the TV dolphin Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben was a goddamn grizzly bear. The TV dolphin, as everybody knows, was Flipper. I only went along on account I didn't want to hurt Arlene's feelings. You may recall it was Arlene who come up with Gentle Fucking Ben and hardly myself. I just went along. Ah, you're definitely right, Porker. Gentle Ben was a bear. I get him confused. Flipper was a porpoise. Dolphin. Well, it's the same thing if you ask me. They all look like big, hairy slugs. Slugs? Yeah, slugs, like when you grow your own lettuce in the vegetable garden. Fleshy, hairy, slimy, disgusting slugs. Ooh, it used to make me sick. We used to go in a North Station at Barnum and Bailey Circus when I was little. They got porpoises in the circus? Yeah, these porpoises would come out. Big, hairy, slimy, fleshy things with whiskers. And they bark some kind of weird kind of dog-like sounding bark and toot out something on car horns or some such. I mean, I'd always clamp my legs together tight in case the porpoises got loose and came at me, you know, <laughs> tried to get under my skirt or anything. <laughs> Jeffrey once put five, six slugs down Ruthie's underpants when she was little to scare her. She was about 10. God, Mama Jesus. Ooh, I'm never supposed to mention it. God. 
Uh, little boys can be very mean to little girls. This morning, Bradley to a naked Emily. <laughs> Emily do, she what is the matter with you people? Suppose Maki walks in. I no saws on, no batter mixed, a new inspector start today. Nobody's set up to work. Not your me, sir. We're not on bells yet, Sal. The idea is we're showing Marky how hard we're trying, yes? He walks in, sees you John and drinking coffee, then what? I'm sorry I razzed you, Sal. I know you're feeling pressured. I accept. Don't sweat it. I get your cousin set up, too. Uh, this is, uh, huh? She? Right? Hi. We, uh, haven't been formally introduced. Sorry, Sal. This is Marlena, Sal. Malena, this is Sal. Sal's plant manager. I'm very pleased to meet you. Likewise. Get her set up. I'm just breaking Marlena in so she can cover for me next month when Anthony and I are traveling. Uh -huh. She's my cousin. This is Florence Rizzo. She batters. Hi. What's wrong with her? It's complicated. Hey, so how far along are you? She's overdue. I'm 10 months. My doctor got my due date wrong on account of I'm never regular. Well, I think I probably wasn't even pregnant when I first went in for the checkup, but and we all figured it was a definite count I missed two months straight and all, so Earl and I relaxed our system, and next thing I know... Pregnant? <laughs> Earl and Ruthie used the basic Gloucester Catholic system. Oh, yeah? What's that? Getting pregnant. See, Gloucester men have it down to a science. <laughs> they drink till about... 3 a.m., then they stagger in the house, make enough noise to wake the kids up. Then they roll you over and come faster, and then you can say, I ain't got my diaphragm in. <laughs> then they drop dead asleep. You miss your period, they get pissed off. They meet young out-of-town girls who take aerobics, and they move out of the house. I need more boxes. Josie's going through a bad time. Mm. You probably deliver soon. You're carrying really low. Oh, she always carries low. I used to carry down around my knees somewhere. Hi, Flo. I uh, hope you don't mind Malena covering for me while I'm gone. Keep some money in the family. No, I don't mind. I checked it out with Marky. Yeah, sure, no problem. I was worried you might be PO'd about it. Uh, Can of your mom? Nah, what the hell? Marky okayed it, huh? My mom's got a million things to do. She doesn't miss this place. <laughs> you can be sure of that. Florence's mom worked here for 31 years. Yeah? Yeah, laid her off a couple of months ago. Bloodless fucking people run this place. I'm promising nothing. If the price is right, I'm taking it. it makes no sense what you're saying, Marky. If I can turn a profit, what's the point? Turn a profit first, then ask me. You know, all the girls came in early this morning, Mark. Everybody's trying. I don't need this, Sally. The machine reshapes Porker's bricks out of fish like. Then Flowey breads them. You and me set up the boxes. Then Ruthie and Arlene box them. And Josie wraps, and that's pretty much it. Okay, but how come they gotta be reshaped so they're like fish? So they look like fish. You wouldn't want to eat a fish that looks like a brick, would you? No, but I mean, if they're already fish, then why do you have to go back and shape them like they're fish? Because they're really about a million fish all smashed together. Yeah, it's more like a family of fish than just a fish. See? Look close. Piece of a middle, piece of a neck, another little piece of a middle, a little tail. That's really gross. See these blocks I'm cutting up? They're from Japan, 6,000 miles away. All we're doing is cutting them up, spraying a little batter on them, and shipping them back to Japan. And that's 12,000 miles round trip. Don't ask me why, I only work here. Your cousin puts notes in the faraway stuff. Yeah, well, I do. So what? <laughs> if stuff is going someplace really far, I toss in a couple of words like, Hi, I'm Maureen Vega from Gloucester. I'm 31, I like Sylvia Plath and Summers. That kind of thing. Marino. 
What are you, chucking them out the window? When I work, I work, and when I party, I party, because that's the kind of guy I am. Oh, really? Hurry up, Porker. If these blocks melt, the fish will come back to life, and they will be very pissed off at what we've been doing to them. Uh-huh. Otter Cotton's here, Porker. Sure thing, Joes. I'm gonna give Joes your hand. You choosing her over me, Porker? Nice. Rose and your father. Rose is fine. My father's fine. Good weekend? Yeah, we did stuff. How's about yourself, Joe's? Good weekend, too? Well, you know, it ain't the same. Cookie's a good guy, really. I call it temporary insanity more than anything. Yeah, well, I guess. Tough on the kids, huh? Yeah, well, they know we ain't around. Temporary insanity. He'll be back. Why, you hear something? Me? No. You seen them together? Down the rigger just the once, and then down the Blackburn a little more recent. Saturday night? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's been telling me that. You know, if my father hears, I can't be responsible for what he does. The cookie? Of course, the cookie! You tell him something for me, Porker. You tell him if my father hears, he'll cut his balls off and feed them to the seagulls. Anything else? Yeah, you tell him the kids are fine, not to worry. Also, I'm starting to look around myself to see who's available kind of thing. You want me to tell him that? Are you my friend or what? It's pretty much like cutting live, only different. Marlena's sister used to cut live up Essex. <sighs> I used to work live fish myself. <laughs> Smells better working live fish. <laughs> it's the batter that's the killer. I think they put formaldehyde in it to make the fish look tastier. Well, I can remember when we were cutting live fish. We always used to have three, four Japs looking over our shoulders, making bids. The Japs have true respect for fish. I wish they didn't bomb Pearl Harbor, but I guess they had their reasons. Hustle, people. We can turn it around if we hustle. Can I see you a minute? Private. Come on, girls. Come on, come on. his nurse. We're set tomorrow. Lunch break down his Beverly office. So I don't know if I can go through with it. I'm still a practicing Catholic. Yeah, so? I'm Jaime the Jew? But nobody, nobody in my family's ever done anything like this. I still, I still don't know how I feel in my own heart about it. I cannot fucking believe this fucking world is falling down on my head and you're having second thoughts it's just that i keep seeing my father's face i just keep seeing his face oh, perfect tears supposing i have a heart attack and drop dead that'd solve everything right oh, come here come here <laughs> Wow, they really walk you around here. Yeah, well, business is a little off. Oh, right, business is a little off, like Ruthie's a little pregnant. Good, Sal, we can turn it around if we bust on the Well, it's getting tense around here. Earl says some Boston mafiosos interested in buying Marky out. Wait, how come Earl's got secret information? When Earl was picking up here yesterday, he saw some big muscle man bodyguard mafioso type hanging around Marky's office. Earl's Ruthie's husband. He picks up a garbage every night. Refuse. Refuse. I've seen him myself. What's this? There's this muscle man type, like Ruthie says Earl says. A uh, mafioso bodyguard kind of person hanging out with Marky. Wait, Marky Santoro's got a bodyguard? Nobody said that. I just said the big Jamoka's hanging out in his office. What? What does Marky Santoro have a bodyguard for? Has anybody looked at his body? <laughs> Marky owns the plant. This place is really getting weird.
I help you? I'm looking for Salvatore Matilla. Salvatore, close the door. <laughs> now, what are you, demented? Uh, I'm him. He. This is me. Salmatilla, plant manager. Salmonella, the disease. Oh, oh no. Who are you? Catherine Schimmer. Oh, oh, well, good, good. Uh, let's uh, let's get you up to the front office to uh, meet Marky, the owner, and then I'll show you your kitchen. Come on. This way? After you. No, this way, after you. Uh, no, you first. Go. She look like somebody we know? Not to me. Too sophisticated. Mug up! I don't know. She's got something familiar going on. Oh, yeah. She looks like me before I discovered blueberry crawlers. Finish, small knockers. You know, I don't know why I bother to put those things in my mouth. I ought to just apply them directly to my hips, huh? Oh, you got a nice shape, Josie. Oh, yeah, so did last year's Dodge Vans. You read that book about the guy who ran Dodge? Oh, what's his name? A, a funny name, a cokehead, something odd like okay. that. that. Sounds great. No, it was different, interesting, really, all about how they spied on him and all. What'd you think? <laughs> Fabulous thing, big business, really. Ayacoca. What? What are you talking about? Name of a book. Iacocca took Dodge and turned it around. Who's Dodge? Does he know anything about the fish business? Maybe we could set him up here. Yeah. Oh, not sure fish has had good times and bad times. We survive them both. Marlena, where were you going? Me? Up Newburyport. We moved down to Burlington when I was nine. But as soon as I was old enough to do it on my own, I moved back on the water. I agree. When you're born on the water, you never can live no place else. My mother and father broke up over water. That wasn't the only reason. Her father was living with another woman and all. He was working at Needham. He took a place up near the plant, wanted me to move up there with him. I was six months pregnant with Ruthie. I couldn't do it. Well, my grandmother and grandfather and aunts and all were in town. My mother and father were in Gloucester. My sisters, too. I couldn't just pick up everything and leave. Kids, too. His job wasn't permanent. His job wasn't permanent. She commuted up weekends. I commuted up weekends. Yeah. He wanted her there full time. He wanted me there full time. He took another woman. Weekends. Mondays through Fridays. Ah, uh, two timers. They're all alike. At least I'm still in Gloucester on the water. At least I'm still in Gloucester on the water. We live here on the fort, just across the parking lot. Oh, yeah? Ruthie lives upstairs over our lane. Ah, can you see the water? Well, we face in over the freezer plant. Here we go. Here we go. This one ain't gonna buy his greaseball charm. I can tell you that. If her product's good, what's the diff? She's not inspecting Sal, right? That's right. So why is he trying to get into her pants, huh? Because it's the only way he knows how to talk to a woman. He's the one who's gonna get us closed down. Shh. We're watching close. What's she saying about us getting closed down, Maureen? Florence is a little negative on account of this and that. I heard that, Rainy. I ain't a little negative. I am very fucking negative. Look around you. You see how empty this place is? This place looks like a fortune cookie after somebody got the message. It's a dead place, Rini. The fish business has had it. Florence Marie Riso, you closed that month. I'm sorry, Harvey. What if your mother heard you? I know. Businesses have their ups and downs. It's just that the fish business has fewer ups and more downs. That's all. I suppose. We are fish people. We are doing what we were born to do. I guess. Negative criticism will only bring the very thing you dread right down onto your head. That's what my mother used to say to me, and she was right. She was a smart woman, my mother. We worked together, elbow to elbow, side by side. Uh, it's a wonderful thing to earn your living working side by side with people who care about you. 
I know. I know. And it's a wonderful thing to live your life overlooking the water. Oh, I agree. There's something so special about living on the water. Definitely. The water gets in your blood. And <laughs> taking walks on the shore. My father used to be able to name all the flowers over Brace's Cove. Drop word shoots and so forth. Angelica and stuff. You think you were listening to some kind of Harvard professor, huh, Mr. Gartjewood? That's the thing. Knowing everything about the ocean because you've lived your life on it. And naming all the fish right sort of thing. If you go straight out from here across the northern part of England, there isn't a single mountain range between Gloucester and the Ural Mountains in Russia. If you could blow hard enough, you could blow out somebody's birthday candles in Russia. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Keep your hands off of me. Oh, shit. I'm just trying to make it I said cut it out. It's a government regulation. They're fighting. I want every fifth fillet weighed. I want no light product. And check the batter. I want no thick bread. If this bull dyke wants to play it by the rules, I say fine. I say we give her perfect product and let her break our own dyke balls. And if anyone here thinks different, let them bread their own ass too thick and find work elsewhere. Cause this plant is not going under. Parker, I want 60 crates of grandmas out and ready to rewrap a true save. That order ain't due for weeks. I do not give a shit. The second that vicious mother of a bitch rejects one miserable underweight or triple-breaded fillet, we go off the fresh frozen and on to rewraps. I got true save rewraps. I've got Jap rewraps. I've got next year's date shop well rewraps. Is that clear? What are rewraps? It's when you take stuff that's already labeled for one brand and you rewrap it with a new label for another brand. Can you do that? Is that legal-like? Not too legal. Excuse me! I am waiting for an answer, people. Is this clear? Yeah. yeah. I apologize sincerely for my filthy mouth, Arlene, but as you can see, I am overwrought. That's no excuse. Arlene, we have trouble here. I think I have to warn nobody. I think you can see by the three closed down lines and the many laid off friends and loved ones that this plant is on no solid ground. And if she f messes us over, we could go down, if not under. Here she comes, Parker. Come with me. All right. I'm going into Marky. What I smell here is not good. You report any weird moves, okay? Yeah, sure. What'd I say? I got you. What did I say? I'll get you. Marino, I'm in no fucking mood. You're in with Marky. She makes any weird moves, I come and get you. No, this is exactly what I do not want. Now, you know Marky's position on this, which I am laboring to change, yes? I have a good idea, yeah. What do you mean, I have a good idea, yeah? I told you exactly what his position is, right? Yeah, well, okay, Sal. So. If she makes a negative move or a rejection-like move involving product, this is when you come get me. But do not... Let on to Mark. Exact. <sighs> Hello? Are you being paid to work? Or is this the company clam bank, huh, people? Thank you. Greenish should eat my fish. That's how they do the test. They cook it up and taste it. 
Hey, she spit it out. They always spit it out. They taste about 80, 90 pieces of fish a day. Imagine how much they'd weigh if they didn't spit it out. What if she rejects it? A fish. We have to throw out the whole batch. Mm, clean the bread up, make new batter. And that's what Dottie did at the end. She rejected all our stuff. Who's Dottie? Dorothy Fabiano. She was the inspector here for seven years, nearly eight. She quit. She's the one I was telling you about. Oh. Yeah, she and Sal were having a serious thing for the last four years or so. Yeah, then Sal got interested elsewhere. What is you? I'm just talking. Sal's married. Yeah, Rini was telling me about that. Maga, Maga. Maga. He's coming out. Where is he? In the front office. Get him. We're on a break. Sure. Why? Sure. No smoking in the plant. Basic rules of cleanliness. Nice guy. Is this you with the golf license plate? Oh, yeah. That's me. You play golf? Oh, no. This is uh, my husband's plate. Uh -huh. Don't I know you? You look wicked familiar. Where were you born? Me. Wilbin. But we've met. My husband's got cousins who are your husband's cousins. He told me to say hi to you. Oh, yeah? Hi. Your husband's some kind of big golfer? <laughs> oh, no. He's never played any golf at all. I got him a vanity plate for his birthday last year, and it came through with golf. And you didn't ask for golf? Not really. There was a bunch of spaces for choices, and I asked for his name three different ways. Then there was this sports space, and... I always thought it would be really sophisticated if he took up golf, so I wrote golf in the space. Mm -hmm. And Billy Bill and Willie were all taken, so I got fucking golf. He doesn't ever play golf, your husband? No, never. No sports at all. We well, used to bowl before I met him. Didn't he get pissed off when you gave him the golf play? Oh, yeah, wicked. <laughs> and that's why I'm driving the car. I wouldn't even touch the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the plate runs out in December. Oh. Where's this dyke? Oh, my God. Uh, Alfred came got me. He said you sent him? Him? So? What's up? What are you jawing about with her? We got a plant to protect here, you know. So don't none of you play it too smart. You're able to get my point. Good couple of us have had your point, Salvatore. <laughs> it don't look like it's gonna work with this one. You might have to use your brain for a change. What are you saying, Florence? I'm saying keep your hands out of her pants, Sal. I heard her tell you to keep your hands off of her. Why don't you try it for a change? I'll deal with you later. What's the matter with you? Fuck off. You looking like I got smacked or what? Will you leave me alone? We're back on bells. Let's go to work. Good. Florence's husband walked out on her when the kids were just babies. She's supporting two kids plus a mother on her own. No help. I don't know why she's wasting her time with Sal. What? No, I don't know. He's pretty good looking. Oh, yeah. Sal's wicked romantic. Also, he gets up and goes home to Carmela every night. No socks to wash. Hey, sounds good to me. <laughs> just joshing. 
<laughs> Sal and Florence were boyfriend and girlfriend from first grade right through junior year. Still treats her like she's his kind of thing. He's Italian. So is her husband. Italian men are the worst. Definitely. Italian, Portuguese, Irish and English, the worst. Well, I think Jews are the best. Well, you've never seen a Jew. I know Miss Delinsky. I, I mean a young Jew, a Jew under 30. Oh, no, I don't know anybody like that. Mr. Linsky must be 75. 65. Everybody's nice when they're 65. You kind of get beaten into it. I wouldn't say Linsky's so nice. I could tell you stories about Linsky. She's still mad at him over something. It wasn't about money, neither. You know, she went out with him once. I wouldn't get too close to Jews if I was you. I always bring it up to get her go. <laughs> they're loose with their hands. That's all I'm going to tell you. It never fails me. <laughs> or they can sweet talk you all right. But when push comes to shove, stay clear of the Jews. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> they can break your heart, too. They can break your heart, too. No. <laughs> it never fails me. So that rules out Jews, Irish, English, Italian, Portuguese. What's left? Frenchman. Frenchman? Frenchmen will fuck a lobster if you hold their claws open. Frenchmen are the worst. Look, it's simple. You want a job. You close the plant down, you got nothing. What do you say? We start over. Let's try to be friends. Oh! Grandma's crates and the true safe labels right away. I want you all to hear this. The only way this plant is staying open is if we can cover our asses for this loss and the losses for the last four months. And even then, I'm promising nobody nothing except that leaky douchebag who I am promising I will process no fish whatsoever. That's the way she wants it. I will find orders on rewraps and rewraps only. And if she wants to reject our rewraps, she can sue the federal inspector who approved them on their last wrap because they are all approved. And that's why I say, fuck the dyke. Someone clean that goddamn bretta. I ain't having her fault us on no fucking cleanliness. Is she gonna test you on language, Salvatore? Give me a break, Arlene. Can't you see what I'm going through? This is no excuse. Arlene! In memory of your mother. Can't you talk to her? Just say you're sorry. Oh, for the love of Christ, Ruthie. Okay, Arlene. I'm sorry I swore so much. I understand there's a terrible problem, but does foul language help anything? No, but it helps me. It makes me feel a little better. Do you work alone? I said I was sorry, didn't I? I accept. Get set up. Alias! Where's Rizzo? I told you, I got enough pressure on my head without your bullshit. But can you back off? Can you give me a break for even one measly day? Fuck you, Sal. Oh, perfect. I'm supposed to take you seriously when you're asking me to think about what you're asking me to think about? Are you off your guard? You better be there tomorrow. Lunchtime, lady. I said, fuck you, Sal. Great. I got a plan to save, so let's get out there and do some work, okay? Go! Where is it? Freezer. 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 What are you doing? Stacking the crates. Out.
What are you? Are you warped? You expect around you make this mess? And what are you? You flipped out? You need a straight jacket? Want me to call down to Danvers and have them bring the nut wagon for you? Or what? I will kill you! Yeah, do it. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Come here. Come here. Oh, you sound like what? 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 Marina, what? You're being observed. <laughs> what do you stare at? It's a personal matter. Company business. You free you. No! Oh. oh, it's for your girlfriend. <coughs> oh. Get back to work. Close us down, sister. No matter how hard you shove, North Shore fish is staying on its feet. And if she ever, ever comes at me again, I'm getting product. Get set up. You coming or what? You tell that blower that I ain't passing no inferior product for nobody. I got people looking over my shoulder and I am covering my own ass no matter what, even if I have to close this plant down. If I have to, I have to. I am just doing my job. You get my point here? Tell that blower what I just spoke. Launch. The new inspector's a tough one. Remember Dottie? She'd wait until we got set up with the fresh batch of batter. Then she'd come out, get a fish, cook it, shake her head, come out, and put a thumb down. No words, nothing. Just a thumb down. <laughs> Sally used to fucking burn. Josephine. Sorry, I'll leave. Ruthie and Eileen, this is you. Oh, thanks, Carol. Rooney. Thank you. Go, Parker. Thanks, Carol. And Josie. Thanks, so. So it's flowy today, huh? Kids sick again. No, she hung back at the plant to have a business conference with Sal. Italian style. I wouldn't blame all of Italy for Sal. You went out with Sal a couple of times, didn't you, Carol? Yeah, you show me a Gosta girl who didn't, and I'll show you an out-of-towner. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, you guys. Sal and Flo are just good friends. Oh, yeah, right. That's why I was trying to choke her. <laughs> Josephine Agnes Evangeletto, you stop that. I'm not gonna allow you people to keep on denigrating Sal so viciously. We're all Catholics here, mostly. Sorry, Ellen. Sorry, Ellen. I accept we're all feeling the terrible pressure. Sal more than any of us. Uh, we better get back. Good idea. Moonlight becomes you. It goes with your hair. You certainly know the right things to wear. Oh, Willie Nelson is great. If John Wayne had been a singer, he would have sounded just like Willie Nelson. I think that's true. After Willie Nelson's dead, he'll sound just like John Wayne. <laughs> I don't get it. John Wayne's dead. After Willie Nelson's dead, they'll sound alike. Get it? What's with you? <laughs> I don't like cruel jokes, neither, Porker. Oh, we only kid you because we love you, Arlene. My mother is totally hung up on John Wayne. <laughs> I'm not hung up. I like John Wayne. I enjoyed his acting. He was excellent. They say he had a tiny organ, minuscule. I'm standing right here, you know. Minuscule isn't dirty, Porker. It means the same as tiny. Like your Christmas bonus. Like your mind. Like John Wayne's wee-wee. 
that's with these people. Beats me. You busy tonight, Carol? Uh, yeah, I am. Sorry, Parker. No sweat, Carol. See ya. Cannot believe my ears. Music? Oh, come on, Sally. We've rewrapped maybe 60 crates already. And we've almost finished the whole order. Maybe if they just played it and then sing along. What's this? Just an idea. You want to go into Maki with me? Maybe take it up with him? Right, okay, okay, Sal. Gee, Maki, I know we're nearly out of business, and we got this new inspector here turning down every piece of product we process, but couldn't the girls just have a little easy listening music? Okay, well, drop the playing music idea. What do you got? Some private income? Okay, okay, you made your point. I don't hear an answer to my question, Marino. Come on, Sal, enough, huh? I would like an answer to my question, Come Marino. Come on, Sal, a joke's a joke, I huh? said I would like an answer. Did you not hear me? Okay, fine, what's your question? Do you have a private income? No, Sal, I don't have a private income. My eyes can't make Marino, turn off that music. Hey, Sally, will you? You working for North Shore Fish? I'm working for North Shore Fish. And yeah. turn off that music. Don't turn it off, Parker. Oh, Marino! Don't do it. Marino, who's boss here? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Ah. What's happening, Sal? I called the broker myself. We can move on the rewrap job for True Save Markets. 80,000 units, everything in house. I got the labels, I got the product. What product? What product, Sal? Tommy Fusco brought me 6,000 True Save labels. We're going to rewrap everything we got. You arranged this, Salvatore. I made the call, I made the sale. Does Marky know this? I told him I could move the stock, yes. You're selling off all our stock? I'm making work, I'm covering overhead. Are we making a profit? Well, what is this? I have to make reports to the rappers? We're breaking even. Huh? We're, we're paying ourselves. Now, come on, honey. I want you out of here. I got enough on my mind without you catching pneumonia on my part. I want everybody ready. Right away. Let's go. Come on. OK, I want all the rest of the grandma's labels pulled, and then we do a rewrap on everything else we got with True Save, OK? Can we start? Oh, boy. I don't like the sound of this. No, it sounds like the end of the road. How so, Flowey? You can't sell fish if you ain't got fish. What do you think, Colleen? Sally must know what he's doing. Oh, yeah? How come you say that, Maureen? I don't know. He's good looking. You got that right. Your cousin catches on fast. Something wrong? No. This don't look good to me. It's work, like Sally said. If we sell off all our stock, I mean, we ain't got nothing to play with, to broker. I mean, where's the future? Boston, I can't allow the rewraps to go out of here. I don't care if you've been doing it before, I can't allow them to go out of here now. It's, it's not my decision. What are you saying here? Once product is wrapped, it's wrapped, and it's got to be shipped. But we didn't wrap it. It's bought already wrapped. It's our, it's our stock. That which we don't process and, and pack ourselves, we buy already wrapped. It's our stock. That's the business. Sally! It's not my decision. Listen, you close this plant down, then what? Look, I am not looking to close this plant down. I am just doing my job. 
And if I don't, somebody else will come in here and do the very same thing. What's going on? I can't approve the rewraps, no way. There's a government pass on every package. It's all passed. Not after you unwrap the package. The government doesn't pass the label. It's the product that's passed. Have you ever heard of shelf life? This stuff is double dated. What shelf life? These are frozen goods. What are you talking about? It's not my decision. I got a red tag. I'm just doing my job. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> you ain't red tagging none of this, bro. Oh, don't do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's coming now. It's coming fast. <laughs> Try to hang on. I'll check on the doctor again. Her contractions are getting wicked quick. Oh, Any God. word from Dr. Berkowitz? Nah, the inspector's called him six times. He should have been here by now. Maybe he's out playing golf or something. I better go back in. I think I'll let my cigarettes upstairs. Anybody offering? Yeah, I got menthol. I'll take anything. Thanks. I was born in my father's truck. My mother was overdue, so he took her out for a ride, tried to shake things up kind of a thing. And it worked. Of course, I was my mother's third baby, so I probably came too fast. You what, too fast? Ah. Jesus, Porker, that's disgusting. Honest to God, one thing on his mind. What's with you? I was just interested in what she had to say. Yeah, sure. I was born on my father's lobster boat. Same thing. Kind of. My mother was frightened she'd have me while my father was out on the boat, so she came along. They figured that if she went into labor, they'd have enough time to get up to Addison Gilbert, kind of they weren't too far out, just lobstering off the Bass Rocks. Well, I guess they figured wrong. <laughs> Long line of great thinkers. My Uncle Kevin got born in the old Central Grammar School. My grandmother used to clean there. And he went to school there himself. Didn't he teach there, too? That's my point. After he finished college up to Salem Teachers, he taught there all his life until they retired him at 65. Now it's city subsidized housing, and he's moving in there. Imagine, born in the same building, school in the same building. And now he'll be living there. Good old Central Grammar School. Practically the same room he taught in. Amazing, huh? A whole life in one building. I got a couple of aunts living up there. That's a nice place. Hey, Dr. Berkowitz. Oh, hi, Pork. I'm here for Ruthie Garrett. Right. Earl's wife. Eddie, hi. Come on, Ruthie's hey, in here. Ruthie's in here. Hey, thanks for coming so fast. Hey, Sal, how are you? I was playing golf over at Bass Rocks. My service got me on my portable phone. I hope it didn't mess up your game. Oh, no, opposite. I, I was chipping when the phone went off, and it startled me. I must have come up just right under the ball, because I laid up next to the pen. I just tapped in for par. It's the best shot I had all summer. Hey, great. <laughs> hey, Sal, how's it going? Hi, Eddie. How's Camilla and the kids? Oh, everybody's great. All right, good. Hey, Porker, how's things? Great, great, yeah. great. Yourself? Yeah, home is laid off again. I heard, I oh, heard. Yeah, they that. say the economy's perking. I don't oh, know. Oh, jeez, look, you hurry oh, up! Get in there! She's right there. She's right oh! She's wicked close. It's the baby. The head's out. Boy or girl? Jesus, Porker, just the head's out. You gonna kill this one? You gonna let this one live? Jesus, Flo. <laughs> Fine. Great. Fine. You're quite a fella, Sal. That's what they tell me. I hope you die. I probably will. 50, 60, 70 years after you, I hope. Come on, Sally. What's with you guys? God. It's a girl. Oh, a girl. Oh, I want a girl. I've got three boys. <laughs> girl! Girl! Hardly a peep. We deliver easy. Oh, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? To be born right here, right in the middle of it. Oh, God, I wish my mother was alive to see this. But Ruthie's fine. The baby's fine. You want to come see? Yeah. <laughs> Give us a couple of minutes to ourselves, Parker. Stay, Parker. Come on, Parker. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Can I try? 
father explain something here? Be my guest. I'm 17. Carmel is 16. And nobody's got the sense to get it taken care of. Carmel is already accepted down to Salem teachers, right? Forget about it. Our parents fix us up with a two-day honeymoon in some summer cottage that Carmela's mother cleans over Riverdale. Place smells of mold and mustiness. Three days later, we start working here at North Shore Fish. Carmela stays on the line rapping until she's big like Ruthie. Me, I, I start right off in the office covering Marky Santaro's ass, which I will never stop doing until the day I fucking die. Carmela goes home to mind the baby. She closes the door behind her and never gets to see daylight again. So let me ask you a question, Florence. Straight and simple. Knowing how I wrecked Carmela's life as I did, not to mention me being the worst husband in the history of the whole fucking North Shore. Tell me something. How am I supposed to walk out on a person like that? How? Walk out on who, Sal? Walk out on who? What's he saying, Flo, huh? Come on, you guys, what gives? It's a nice little girl. Makes me so sad. Oh, God, Parker, it makes me so sad. What does, Joe? Babies being born. If I weren't so fat, he'd come home, wouldn't he? You're not fat. Is she fat? <laughs> yeah. I think some of my sister Rose's coffee will make your trouble seem minuscule. I know, I know. I think she adds oregano. You know, he used to touch me all the time. And I don't mean just high school, I mean years and years after. I... I don't know why I eat so much pork. I just get so frustrated. Doing the same things day in and day out. Having no money. Seeing the same bunch she is day in and day out. Doing the same dumb things, saying the same dumb things. <sighs> don't take it personal. It's not personal. It's not against any is honest to God, but I really hate my life. Sick of the neglect. Being his wife is like being a dog in a dead man's house. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chloe. What? I'm trying to say something to you, Chloe, about life. Something that I'm finally learning. Something that I don't know is, a, is appropriate for us. Yeah. Well, let's hear it. People like us, we're like, we're like pieces of wood floating on water. You know, we float in, sometimes we touch, sometimes we even bang together. But then we float off. You know, there's like some big, some big tide controlling us. We can't really be blamed. Ah, oh, shit, you oh, hey, guys. Lawrence. Come on, will you? You're acting very emotional, Florence. Tell Carmela to set a couple extra places at the table next Christmas dinner, okay? Tell Carmela me and the baby are coming over. Oh, I'm supposed to walk out on her because you and I are so much in love. What a joke. I ought to send it to CBS TV. They could use it on the television. You want to tell Carmela and little Sal and Michael and Angela about everything? This is fine with me. You do that. And I get to tell Bradley and Emily about their mother being the town pump, right? Uh, Look, I, I, no, I got to go into Marky and tell him about the baby and the red tag, and I got to report in. Cookie's been giving me half what he used to, and that's with me hounding him day and night. My father keeps telling me to take nothing. Let him pick up the bills and throw Cookie out altogether. I'm 38 years old. I don't want my father paying my bills. My father wants to kill him, you know. 
My father knows that Cookie's been beating me. And before you beat a dog, you better make sure whose dog it is. Dog is a dog. That's the way I see it. I don't like that mouth of yours, sister. You got some disaster between you and Salvatore. This is fine. This is great. But this is between the rotten two of you, so don't be dragging us all into the middle of it. We all got our own harsh shit to deal with. And to be perfectly frank, you made your bed with Sal, and now you're sleeping in it, alone. Well, what else is new? Your mouth is as big as your ass. Hey, come on, will you? It's getting intense around here. Listen, you two, what people say when they're upset shouldn't be made into some big deal. Maybe not for you, shipper brains, but if I'm carrying it, that's my personal stuff. Having it talked about in front of everybody is no little deal to me. Wait, who the hell said you were carrying? Now, you lost me there, Flo. I gotta tell you, you lost me there. Did you hear me say that she was carrying? Carrying what? A baby, you dodo! A baby? You having a baby, Florence? How far along are you? Jesus, Porco, what's with you? I'm having it taken care of tomorrow lunchtime over Beverly. Don't let Ollie in here. Oh, oh, please. You think the Pope is gonna be any happier with one more pathetic kid running around Gloucester wondering who the hell his father is, wondering why the hell he was put on this earth for this? For cutting and packing TV fucking dinners, tasting the fucking sea frozen fish fingers? What, are you crazy? You know what Arlene says. We're in the fish business, we're fish people, we're doing what we were born to do. Can you believe this one? Josephine, this is not the fish business. This is the non-union, bottom of the barrel, end of the road, frozen, breaded, dumb business. I know what fish is. Fish is alive until you kill it. Fish bleeds when you cut it open. You see this already wrapped and rewrapped 27,000 times? Frozen, breaded, dumb? Wait, wait, just answer me one question, Josephine. Would you ever, in your entire life, ever actually eat this shit? I'm begging you. Just, just keep things on ice. Just give a little more time. I'm begging you. I know the speech, Sal. My grandmother, my grandfather met here. My grandmother was on the line. My grandfather had your job before he bought the plant. Hey, maybe that's the solution, huh, Sal? You buy the plant. Hey, Mackie, don't fuck with me, huh? I'm out there trying to save things for people who we both love and who have worked here for years and years. Oh, yeah? Well, I love my kids. This place is not putting any food in their mouths. I can tell you that, sure as shit, it's taking food out. I think one of you should stop me. From doing what? I'm gonna kill her. Kill who, Sal? Jeez. Get out here. Get out of here, Sal, you. Stop. Sal, what are you doing? Sal, get out. Sal. Get out here. <sighs> You better stop me, Marino. I'm gonna kick down this door, and I'm gonna murder her. Why, what's she done? She couldn't have red tagged nothing. Marky sold the plant. What? Huh? You got waxy ears? Marky sold the plant out from under us. What are you saying, you? Am I not speaking the king's fucking English? Marky Santaro has sold the plant. North Shore Fish is, is sold. To who? To who? To whom? What's happening? He's saying the plant's been sold. Well, do you still get your paid vacation? Oh, Jesus, Marlene, I'm hearing the same as you. Well, I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass, but I gotta schedule out my time. Shut up. Who'd Marky sell the plant to, Sal? It's gonna be a fitness center. What? Nautilus, aerobics classes, that shit. I'll join up, my prayers are answered. Kidding me, Matilla. This plant is closed? Sold. Equipment goes on the dump. New people move in as soon as possible. Like when? I don't know. Tuesday or Wednesday. We gotta clear out all our personal stuff today. North Shore fish is sold, and there's gonna be weightlifting and dance classes in here as soon as Tuesday or Wednesday? This is a fact of life? This is a definite fact of life. Marky's had these, these fitness people around for about six weeks till he saw whether or not the business would turn around. He's pretty torn up about it, too, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hey, this plant's been in the Santaro family for a hundred years. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This plant is definitely sold, and weightlifting and Nautilus are definitely coming in here as soon as possible, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday this week? Definitely. 
<laughs> definite, definite, definite! <laughs> what? So funny? You're not my boss anymore. I'm not under you. You're not over me. This here setup between us is over and done. Over and done. You miserable prick! run up to the hospital with Ruthie while they check out her and the baby, if that's okay with you, Sal. Don't you tell her. That's fine, Eileen. That's, that's fine. No problem. What happened, Sal? Now, what's the matter? Your lip's all bloody. I fell down. What? Dr. Berkowitz is just here. Come here, Sal. Let me have a look. No, it's, it's just my lip. Uh, <laughs> I slipped on something. Oh, it looks like somebody clipped you. Put some ice on it. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Thanks. Thanks. Bro. You sure that's all he needs? He's gonna be okay, Arlene. It's just superficial. You, you got it on your coat too, Sal. Looks like you've been cutting live fish. Dead fish. Huh? Doctor Berkowitz is waiting, Arlene. Oh yeah. My wife and I and her sister were playing golf over Bass Rocks. I told him to wait for me at the snack bar on the tenth tee. Oh, I'm naming her Roxanne. Ruthie, don't do that. That's a shitty name. You think so? Oh, yeah, it's a terrible name, Ruthie. She would, she would hate being called Roxanne. You all think so? I don't like it. I wouldn't. It sounds cheap. Roxanne's not great. I don't like Roxanne. Me neither. Now, how about you? I know you're temporary, but I'm kind of interested. I don't know. Roxanne's OK, I, I guess. I thought Roxanne was elegant. Ruthie, trust me, it's a shitty name. How about Florinda? What do you think about it? Go home and think about it. Well, maybe I'll wait and go through the what to name the baby book again tonight. Mm -hmm. You don't mind not having a name one more day, huh? She's cute, isn't she? I haven't seen him. Oh, Ruthie. She's beautiful. She looks just like you and your mother. She does. Yeah, see, look, she's got the same eyes. Yeah. Well, well, I better get going. I'm feeling slightly weak. We better go. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me hold it for you. Bye, everybody. Here you are, little bee. Bye, Alan. No, I'm really fine. Don't any of it's worry. Goodbye, Ruthie. Congratulations. I'm saying my congratulations to Earl, too. Hey, it was nice to meet you. I'll probably be back a week from Monday, Sal, if that's okay. Uh, whatever you want, Ruthie. He's the greatest, Sal. Oh, yeah, you're the greatest, Sal. Uh, hey, congratulations to Al, too. Yeah, I will. Well, come visit everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've already seen the baby, but come visit anyhow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Stay healthy. Okay. Come on, Dr. Hold on tight. Bye, everybody. You miserable prick. I'll rip your heart out. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, Florence. Let me at him. You blew it, Matilla. My grandfather worked in fish, my father worked in fish, and I am gonna work in fish. You can sink and submerge this plant, but you can't pull real people like us down with you. I will bury you before I'll sink with you, and that is a fucking fact I like, you phony. You split my lip, you dick. I'll split your dick, you duh, you peck ahead, you pussy. I didn't put this plant under. You dink, you dog, you diddly shit. I helped keep this place alive. I breathed precious life into this operation. I put the food on your goddamn table, Marino. All of yours. Kept you working, earning money. I put the food in your baby's mouths. And this is the thanks I get? 
What are you, demented? Don't dignify the dog, Floey. Treat him like something dead. Treat him like a bad smell. You don't need him, Florence, believe me. Just treat him like he ain't happening, because you ain't Matilla. Is my vacation paid or what, Sal? The plant is closed, Maureen. C-L-O-S-I... Don't you fucking spell it, me, you! Nice. Thank you, Maureen. Very, very nice. You're lucky it wasn't boiling, because that's what you deserve. Scumbag. Keeping us all scared we're gonna get laid off if we don't come across. And we all know the opposite to laid off working a line under you, don't we, Sally boy? I never touched you once, Josephine. <laughs> what are you, brain damaged? Oh, when? When? Come on. Name one single touch. I'm supposed to spiel off when you touch me in front of Flo and Hot Lips Marino? Yeah, one touch. Come on. Let's hear it. Greasy pole contest, stage four park under the old bandstand floor. That was years ago. What's this? Not so many. Eight. Five. Five. You were married to Carmella already. You were going with Cookie already. Oh, going with is hardly married to you, cheating bastard. See, that's why I never did it. You never did it, Pork? Ho, ho, that's rich. That's why I never got married. Uh, what's what? On account of what's the point if nobody's ever going to be faithful. Also on account of the fact that every goddamn one of us said no when you asked us. <clears throat> That was a miserable, cruel thing to say out loud. It was, Flo. It was pretty low flow. It was low flow. Is that true? Did he ask all of us? Will you come on? All of us. All, of us. all Rockport, Manchester, Ipswich, Essex, and the better part of Woburn. Nice. Does this mean my work in here next week is off or what? What? I asked you a question. The plant is closed. What do you think that means? We clear out our stuff, we go home, and we never come back unless we're taking aerobics. He grabbed me in the freezer. Come, come on. on. Oh, yeah, first him, then him. The little one tried to hold my hand, then the grease ball jumped me and started pawing all over me in the freezer. What, like as a team? No, one at a time. He asked me to give him a hand, then he's trying to hold my hand. Ten minutes later, he jumps me on some huge frozen great lump of something, and I whack my leg wicked. Jesus, Sal. What's with the Jesus Sal? Oh, at least he said something nice to me. He just grabbed me like it was product. Oh, I got no time for this. Come on, Marino. We got a freezer to inventory. Do it yourself. What's this? Fuck you. That's exactly the gratitude I expect. Fuck you and fuck your grandmother. This I won't be forgetting. So what did he say? Huh? Porker, what nice thing did he say? What is the matter with you? I'm just curious, Pork. Something about me being special. Ooh, special? Yeah, like different from the hometown pigs. Nice, Porker. Tasteful, too. What, what, you mean like you being an out-of-town pig kind of thing? Come you know, on, you I've two. I on you. Once I start swinging, I don't stop. I mean, I gotta be stopped. You get my point? No, I don't get your point. I was dropped on my head. I'm a stupid fool. Show a flow. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, I don't know, flow six. You want to swing, Susie? Swing. If I ain't afraid of him, and I ain't afraid of him, I certainly got no fucking hey, fear. Hey, come on, will you? There's no rough stuff. I ain't gonna be holding you responsible for this, so don't worry. You neither. You being her cousin doesn't phase me against you neither. It's the asshole in the freezer, I'm killing! Duke's up, Matilla. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sally's knocked out! Good going, Pork. It wasn't my fault, he slipped. Don't be modest, Porker. He hit his head and cut it. Wait a minute, what are you saying? Is he critical? Is he dead? No, but he's hurt. He knocked himself out. We were rolling around in the freezer floor. He whacked his head on this big chunk of tuna Mark he keeps in there for personal use. Maybe I should get the doctor back. Well, is he out cold? He came too, but he's dazed. His head's hurt bad, cut and banged. Put some ice on it. You think so? I took first aid in school. Where will I get ice? Didn't you say you were in the freezer? Oh, my God! Jesus, fuck. I'm coming, Sally! This is the first work I've had in four months. Yeah? That's rough. Basically, it makes no difference to me. I'm just about breaking even anyway. 
After taxes and dues are taken out, I make about what a babysitter makes. So basically, it makes no difference to me. Anthony and I have been planning this trip for about two years now. Hmm. <laughs> He'd probably be happy to call it off now. I don't think he ever wanted to go, really. He was just being nice. I don't think he's got any real interest in seeing Connecticut. Just me. That's where you're going? You're going to Connecticut? Connecticut has great natural beauty. You've never been to Connecticut before? Yeah, well, so what? It takes an hour to get there from here. Yeah, so? Don't miss Bridgeport. Full of natural beauty. I think Sally needs some stitches. Oh, Jesus, that looks awful, Sal. His wound's open. Somebody ought to run him up to the hospital. He shouldn't drive himself. I'll do it. I got a license. Canoe girl. Perfect. I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I, I checked my reflection in the chrome cover of the freezer pump, and I seen worse, so don't any of you worry. And listen up, I already got feelers out, and, and I already got a couple of nibbles. Maybe something's gonna open up at Gorton's, for example. Tell you the truth, I'm, I'm glad Mackie sold. He's been threatening for a year. Sally's been keeping it from you. Yeah, I didn't want you all to worry, but I seen this, this fitness jerk hanging around Mackie for weeks and weeks. The weightlifter type of muscle-bound mafiosa Jamal girl kept seeing when he picked up our garbage. I kind of suspected something myself. I kept it under my hat. I, I saw no point in every one of you being under the gun, too. Because you people all mean something to me. You mean something to us, too, Sal. I swear to you all, I'll set up something new for all of us inside of three months, far at the very max. We know you will, Sal. You got my number, right? <laughs> of course I do. I, I got everybody's number. Yeah. I, I better head up there. You ready? Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you, Zoll. Got to have been one of the high points of my life. Hey, uh, I I'm sorry it didn't work out. <laughs> my husband's never gonna believe this one. We were really hoping it would work out. My husband's dying to buy a place here. How come your husband wants to buy here? Oh, he's from here, originally. Lane's Cove, over by the sauna. Really? I know Billy Shimmer. He's your husband? Yeah. Wait a minute, Billy Shimmer? With the pink Buick? Well, I never saw the Buick, I only heard about it. Small goddamn world, huh? Oh, come on. Hey, uh, no hard feelings, I hope. Oh, no. I know you were just trying to do a job. Yeah. Well, good luck, everybody. Uh, Love meeting you. Hey, we should get going, huh? Yeah. See ya. I'm gonna be, uh, Saying goodbye now. Can I call you later? No. What about tomorrow? I'm taking care of it. Want me to go with you? I already got a friend to go with me. It's all been arranged. I'm so sorry, Fox. Yeah, me too. We'd actually close up. And do you mind putting the stuff from my locker in the dumpster, Porka? There's nothing in there I need. No problem. You sure? I'll call you guys. Bye, Josie. I'll call you later, Rainy. I'd better go. What a miserable effing day, huh? <laughs> Call me later, Porca, huh? Uh, yeah, sure, Joe, sure. Oh, 
How's about I call you later, Flowey? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have plans and schemes. And I don't have hopes and dreams. What's with you, Porca? The plant's closed. No reason to leave it filthy. You're okay, Pork. Marky leaves his vodka in the freezer. I know where. Wanna? Great. What's gonna become of us, Pork? In what way? Life is so full of shit. My mother, 31 years here, breading and wrapping, and for what? Come on, she loved it. She did. She did. Yeah. But oh, she's looking wicked lonely now. 31 years, never once being sick, never once being late, never once even leaving at the belt, and they lay her off like she did something wrong. I mean, that's what she's thinking. That's what she's trying to figure out. What wrong thing did she do that she's getting punished for? And she's got nothing. Nobody's got nothing. None of the old people, none of the real people, none of the Gloucester people. And I'm gonna end up just like a <sighs> wicked lonely. Cooking too much food when somebody finally breaks down and visits. Chewing stuff over and over again that happened years and years ago. Making out like it was good, making out like something that happened to her really mattered. Going over and over the past. No plans, no plans for nothing. Come on, Chloe. Sour hook onto something. It's working on four or five possibilities. We can collect. The weather's good. What are we supposed to do now, Pork? Us? Now? I don't know. Turn out the lights, go home. You fix dinner for Bradley and Emily. I'll have some of my sister Rose's horrendous cooking. We'll go to sleep. Get up tomorrow, face the fact we got no jobs. Kill the day. Maybe meet up and go down to the Capri. Get sick on pizza. Catch a movie. Get married. I don't know. Why don't you go home and start picking out something to wear? I may have to ask you to do something with me tomorrow lunchtime. You name it. Thanks. I'll call you. Oh, I won't have plans and schemes. And I won't have hopes and dreams. I won't have anything. If I don't have you. You want to get married, Florence? What's this? If you're carrying and all, you ought to be married. To who? To me, Florence. I mean to me. Poor God. I think your brain snapped on account of the plan closing. 
Baby ought to have a father. You don't have to answer right away. We're going out and all. I'll ask you again, maybe Tuesday night, say. You crying because I asked you to marry me? Oh, no, 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 it's not that. I can understand you feeling stuck because the way things are and all. Pork, this is all I know how to do. Me, my mother, my grandmother. We know the fish business. I got nothing left to teach my children. They're gonna look at me, and that's what I'm gonna think. I got nothing to teach them. Don't cry, Flo, huh? It's just work. It ain't life. Mm -hmm.